Fears to fathom. Hold on, I don't, I don't even know like all, all of the. Okay, so I don't know if y'all ever remember. There's been already. Well, this is the fourth one, but there's been three. I Carson's right. Carson's house. Yep. Nord, uh, Nordwood hike, and Home Alone. I remember I played Home Alone on a random horror, and was instantly blown away. I love when horror games could, um, could stay with a realistic tone and fears to uh, fears to fathom i think they take stories from people and they convert it into a game if it's scary enough um so these are based off of like real stories this is episode four iron bark lookout and i i gotta i gotta i gotta join in here shout out to the team also the homie krishna set this up Shout out to you, bro. Tell them your Annabelle story so they could make it. I, I don't, I don't, I don't think they're able to uh, to make. But look, I'll tell, I'll tell y'all. So look, I met, I met, I met the real Annabelle before. I actually met the real Annabelle before. Back in the day, this is gonna be a quick summary. YouTube, Twitch, right? So like, there was a contest uh, back in the day that um, it was for the Conjuring series. They um, they put out a, a, a thing and it was like a short film contest. So we was like, okay, so how can we be different? Yeah, yeah. Those that know me, know I do short. Well, I do filming. I do films. Um, and yes, yeah, so we was like, bro, how can we do this differently? So we decided to actually contact the actual um shit. I'm having a I'm having a brain fart right now. The the Warrens. We we decided to contact the Warrens. We contacted them, we emailed them. To our surprise, they emailed us back. We told them our idea. We was like, hey, can we can we get you guys in um in a short film? It's going to be, you know, it's it's for the conjuring series, you know, can and they they emailed us back and there was like, you know, a lot of people usually contact us, but we loved we loved how like genuine uh and like this the idea that we had right so they contacted us back we set up a day we we met them um so we met the daughter we met uh the husband and uh well the daughter's husband tony shout out to tony and lorraine she was actually um it, uh, she, she was actually sick at the time but yeah, so we met them. They took us in the museum. Now they have a haunted museum, which you go inside there, and there's hundred, hundred of artifacts, so different things, and every single one of these things inside, like like all these artifacts, it's like hundreds of them. They all have a story, and they're super super. It's either demonic or just it's just super evil, bro. As soon as you step inside this uh, this museum, you could feel the weight. You could literally feel the weight of whatever energy is there. You could just feel it, right? It made sure, you know, to reiterate, don't touch shit. Because you don't want, you know, you don't want nothing to like, you know. So, I'm walking around. I'm just looking at everything. Also scared as hell, right? And at the end of, at the end of the building... I see Annabelle just sitting there. She's in a case though, and it's and it's a and it's in a protected case, right? They have her they have her locked up, but she's just sitting there. And I'm like, you know, I'm just trying not to like make eye contact with her. You know what I mean? I just felt like that, like I just felt like this. It was it was staring at me, bro. So like every single time I, I would like, you know what I mean? while trying to like listen to Tony as he's explaining like everything around here and you know, and how Hollywood like, you know, got in contact with them to create the Conjuring and stuff like that. Uh, and other, you know, uh, stories that I, you know, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep cherished ever, bro, right? So before we leave, so, so, you know, he gives us a tour, you know, he explains to us, you know, about Annabelle and everything that she's like the, it's just crazy stories. And before we leave, this dude's like, hey, hold on. 
let me give y'all, you know, more detail about about Annabelle because she's like the, you know, because again, our short film was gonna be based on Annabelle. So this dude unlocks it. As soon as he unlocks it, mind you, there was there was a group of it was me, Courtney, and Ryan, Landon. It was a group of six of us, right? One of the one of the six of us. There was a there was a, a, a I think he was like I think he was like nine years old at the time. Maybe maybe younger, maybe a little older. But regardless, as soon as he opens this case of Annabelle, bro, it feels like someone's going like this, right? It feels like someone's going like this to my shoulders, right? It's the craziest thing. So I, so as soon as soon as he opens it, I, I'm like, what the fuck? It's the, it's the craziest thing. So, it, it, like, someone's pushing down on my shoulders, right? Mind you, I'm not making shit up, and, and I'll explain, right? So I'm, like, what the, so, I'm like, what the fuck, as he's explaining. <sighs> so, you know, he closes it up. We leave outside. You know, I don't want to say anything. I just want to get the hell up out of there, right? I'm like, I want to leave. Like, fuck this place, bro. Respectfully. Annabelle, in case you're wondering, you know what I mean? You, you feel me? So we end up we end up leaving out of there. You know, we say our goodbyes, we thank them. We we shoot the short film with them um, outside on their porch. So we actually got a short film with them, which is, you know, a blessing I will always cherish. Um Yo, uh, yo, Cypher, thank you for the prompt subscription. So we go to we go to dinner, right? I'm still quiet. I'm like, okay, I'm I'm maybe I may be just tripping because as soon as I got there, I was already making eye contact with the doll. And maybe my mind was like, okay, so this is, you know, I've seen the movies, Annabelle, you know what I mean? Like that shit was scary. So um, so I'm sitting we're we're sitting at the dinner table, and one by one, the first one that says something is the little kid. Now, mind you, he's not gonna make no shit up, but listen, he says, he I hear him say to his mom, Mom, like, uh, inside there i heard like i i felt a uh, like like a pressure on me and then then the aunt says yeah that was the weirdest thing and i'm just listening to and, and they're going one by one saying the same exact shit and i'm like oh fuck <laughs> and i don't want to say anything but i'm like oh shit bro but yeah uh that was the time i i i met annabelle it was it was it was crazy bro it was crazy but let, let's you know Let's get into it, though, you know? Here we are, fears to fathom. Um, you said I'm grabbing the Bible immediately. Man. See, my body is ready. Yo. Wait, kid, you were at TwitchCon? Why didn't you pull up on me, bro? And there's one more. Uh. Fears to Fathom, Episode 4, Iron Bark, Lookout, May 12th, okay? Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching your YouTube- Wait, what? Is this- Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. Is this part of the- Oh, what am I- Can y'all hear- Can y'all- Hold on, first and foremost, is the audio good? This is going on the tube, bro. Is the audio good? It's cool? Like it's not overpowering my voice? Also, if you're watching this post, make sure y'all thumbs up the video, you know? Appreciate it. I hope y'all having a great time. And if you're here live, I love y'all. You know what I mean? Now let's get it going. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Oh, this is the email they got. This is the email they got. Bro, Fierce to Fathom is one of one, bro. I love it. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this. Bro, I gotta tell them my story then. It, it, uh, bro, I have a zombie story? Bro, I have a zombie story! All right, hold on. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm that hype. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like I'm doing so 
But I feel like doing so might help me process the memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. It's all good, bro. You know, they say that about me all the time, bro. But I believe you. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I feel you, bro. I have a couple. You feel me? I'm going to talk to them. <clears throat> hey, I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger at the state park. Okay. <clears throat> I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that wouldn't, I had a salary that would allow me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself at the restaurant. Nice clothes, etc. It's all good, bro. You know what I mean? I'm getting those new skim uh, dude uh, uh, underwear, though. You feel me? Make my ass plump. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. Okay? I love it. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because some of official, some official circumstances. I was a, it was a minor inconvenience to me since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. His RVs are expensive. The fact that he's able to, that's fire. I said my goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. I love this. Okay, you got a barber chair? Uh, chair? <clears throat> Whoa! Whoa! Let's relax, y'all. Relax, relax. Uh, so who's this? Okay, this new regional, uh, regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a new job like you. Waking up in the nature away from people and just getting paid by the one good. Okay, so who's this? Definitely time to speak. So Kai and Nelson, Iron Bark. Okay, so he's just, like, showing... Oh, okay, with that, I'll call you back. So this is sister? How's it looking? Still on my way. Okay, cool. So this is his sister, I believe. Who's Mitch Scott? Sorry, I was just asking questions, joining the line. Park my van. So you're arriving on Friday. Just park around the back. Okay. Okay, and this is the dude that he's uh, working for. So look, I would love to live out of an RV. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. I lived. A very solitary life. But I, I would have to be like in my 50s though. It helps quiet my mind. Keep the, huh? <clears throat> Audio is still good, right? I'm like, brr, brr. Uh, Alright, my fault. I've always loved the great outdoors. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. I felt like I was home in the woods. I, I can't text and drive though, you know what I mean? You gonna make me like park? You know, hit that, hit that break, big bro. Hit that break, big bro. Bro, the brakes are gone, y'all. I remember there was a diner passing the Rose Road. They had the best burgers in town. You have to try them. I could really use a good meal before staff, okay? Okay, music bumping, though. You know what I mean? Man, I could use a, I could use a burger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is this it? Okay. Is, wait, is this it? This is the diner? You know, you know I got a reverse, bro. Wait, no. Wait, is that the diner? No, it isn't. It isn't. That's the diner. Uh. I saw the diner Kyla was talking about. I'm 
Walking lonely, got no homies, feeling like a ghost. She don't feel me anymore. She says I'm never home. Now watch me cut. Down no lights, <clears throat> I'm stumped in my chair again. She never come home, she never will feel me again. I cannot differentiate your day since 2016. Oh. And it just pains me, babe. I hate to see that you miss me because the weather's cold. And I'm knowing life is fast. And you know I got your but I'm always on my ass. Fuck it though. When you rub, I'm feeling down. And when you're round, I'm feeling gone. I'm on my way to nothing, always in the universe. Please just take my pain away, I'm in reverse Yeah, you know I got you, but I'm on my way to die Okay, there's no dent, it's all good, yeah It's all good, let's not talk Hello? Hey, sir. Damn, that's a good-looking burger. Can I... Damn. Damn, a burger could hit right now. It's all good, you know? Hey, sir. Hey. Hey, ma'am. Welcome to Twin River Downer. How are you doing today? I'm, I'm, I'm good. What about you? Feel free to take any seat you like. And I'll be right with you. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Diners, bro. I love diners, bro. I don't know about y'all, but I love diners, bro. Yeah. Oh, let me see the let me see the food. Hey, ma'am. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Um. Yeah. Yes. What can I give you today? Um. I'll take a cheeseburger. <clears throat> I'll take a cheeseburger with fries. Can you make it medium? <laughs> Our burger has the best in the West. Would you like anything to drink? Um, I'll take some coffee. Can I have water with it? Perfect. Anything else? Um, that'll be all. Thank you. Great. I'll bring the food as soon as I'm done. Um, uh, just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds good. I appreciate it. Coffee with a burger? Why y'all asking how I... <clears throat> I've always had this habit of peeing before bed. I'm <clears throat> peeing before eating. Why y'all worrying about how my bowels move? You know what I mean? Y'all worry about how y'all wipe your booty? It's all good though. I really had, I really had to pee. Get up out of here. Whoa! I'm ready to eat this burger though. Ugh. Have I told y'all how much I love diner food, bro? Man. Man. I love diner food. You said PG, you're disgusting. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. 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 That's a double cheeseburger. Ooh. I figured it'd be a while before I eat a meal like this again. Coffee, yeah. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here, still eating. This is so good. Oh man, what a meal. Oh! This type of meal that like, you feel me? This should've put you right out, bro. And I'm in an RV, it's all good. Told you, <laughs> This food reminds me. You should send me that carousel recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine. In the new lookout. Wow, yes. 
I'm on my way. I'm on my way home. I'll send you in the bed. Okay. Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else, or should I get the check? Oh, stuff. Uh, check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> just don't worry about what I'm saying, y'all. Just immerse. Y'all unimmerse it. This is what I'm saying. Instead of typing, how about y'all just immerse? Put y'all goddamn phone down and immerse, y'all. <clears throat> Here's the check. Um, pay six. Yep. Give her a tip, bro. Yep. Thanks for the generous tip. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. What you eating, sir? Well, you barely touching your food. I know that shit code. What about you? Okay. Sir. I'm, 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 man. Y'all are all bots, bro. Oh, the birds are over there. I, I'm out of here, bro. Hold on, I, I ain't even like look at your spot, bro. Damn. Can I turn on the lights? Nah, low key, bro. This the bathroom door was strangely the bathroom door was strangely jammed. What? You think I'm a? You think I'm gonna be like? Somebody is in my goddamn bathroom, dude. I know, I know this car is about to. I know, I know the battery is dead. I left the car on. Oh, the radio? Out of here. Yep. Yo, Pisces lover. Thank you so much for the big eight months resubscription. Here we go. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Okay. So what are we talking about, though? I drove past the trowel at first. Oh, my fault. Um... Trail. A hundred bottom of milk on the wall? Dude, this car is 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 cooked, bro. I am sorry. Small ass feet. Oh man, I'm I'm shook, bro. That shit scared the shit out of me, bro. Holy moly. You scared me. 
I thought you were one of them. Oh, holy mo- <clears throat> Holy moly! You scared me! I thought you were one of them! No, you scared me, bro. May Lord have mercy. Uh, uh, uh. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? You're, you're Billy, right? Uh. I'm the new transferred fire, bro. Look out. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Look at all these people walking in the back. Uh. Hang on. Let me check on that. Uh. Yep. Oh, you scared the shit out of me, bro. Missing children? Okay, pal. You're good to go. Your staff, that fire tower 11. Uh. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would have left in the staff for the reasons. But here he keys. What's up, Clark? What's up, Dance? Let me open up the trial, uh, tr trial gate for you. Yeah. They gotta stop gasping, bro. Can I get this, uh, muscle milk? I don't got a flashlight? What's going on? Do I get a gun? Boy, is Bigfoot gonna come out? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike you're, uh, for your lookout. I thought I might need one. You be careful. Take this. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. <clears throat> yeah. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your first, <clears throat> when you get to your when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system. Just know you're clocked in safely. Yeah. If it need be, you can reach out to Tower Twelve during your staffing. Nice enough guy. Yeah. You'd be your closest contact in case of any emergency. You have a good day. Okay. This flashlight sucks, Billy. Bro, that really is me. Whoa. Uh, uh. Hey. Just got a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of the tower. You got it. Bobcats and bears. Uh. Nasty business. You got it. I thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Okay. I left my bag in the RV at first. I like how they're using the, the narrating voice to, like, guide you. That shit kind of cool, bro. Let me grab my bag, bro. This dude's just gonna leave this car on. It's kind of crazy to me, bro. This RV is cooked. Did that running speed? He got small legs, bro. Not that I would know, because I take huge steps, but it's all good. You know what I mean? I would, I'm just thinking. Like, maybe he got small... Eleven thirty-two p.m. It was a long hike, and I was starting. It was starting to get cold. You got a hoodie on, bro. To be honest, I'm not. Do I don't. I don't care how much they're paying me. I'm not doing this, bro. 
This is terrifying, bro. Bears and shit? I go to Tower 11, right? Living in a fire tower is not a glorious job. Glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. But I've always had a fondness for the outdoors. I mean, I get it, but like, you know, cause I, cause I for sure, I ascended the top stairs, the top, <clears throat> I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. I feel, wait, so these, these this is, so wait, how many towers, uh, cause I know this is real, but like how many towers, See, these are fi like fire lookouts. But like, how many towers does like a forest usually have? Once you're in the top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary. Okay. It's a lot. The cabin was filled with the aroma of woods, giving me a sense of comfort. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. They're here for how? They're here for how long? Microwave. Whoa. Oh nah. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Let me, let me not mess with the fire before I burn this shit down, bro. Turn on the generator first. Generator's probably downstairs, huh? <laughs> bro, for, <laughs> that should have been a thing, bro. The way everything just caught on fire, bro. You know? Just like a, 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 a you know, like a mess, like you messed up. So you have to, you, know, you said no? All right. Stop yapping, I hear you. How much would they have to pay you for y'all to like live here for a couple months, y'all? Be honest. You know how long your day's gonna be? One point two a month? For that that's it? One point two a month? Okay, I'll look out to follow these rules. Okay, so lights out after 12. What time is it? 11.30. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolute no guests in the lookout. I'm having guests, bro. I'm not going to be here by myself, bro. You feel me? Uh, system password is Iron Bark 11. Okay, tower number, yep. So refuel generator routinely. Update the routine. Okay, no video games in the system. Remember to call you. Okay, cool. So let me call. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing that I... Cool. Rainbow 18. Hello there, it's Molly, your trusted virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. 
Okay. Get into Tower 11. How's the day going? Yeah, okay. Bow. So, what am I supposed to do here? Weight training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned. Is that Jack? Is this Jack Step the guy? And by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the it's following is a list of responsibilities tower. you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to Who note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. Bro, I gotta do all of this? How much are they paying me? The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. <laughs> Okay, top of the morning. All right, he's a random factory, bro. Get this out my face. Okay, help. Wait, they said I can't play no games. Ha <laughs> ha Here it is. And we are back. So, how do you feel about being a plant? Do you most rise? Fascinating. What do you do for a living? <laughs> this, uh -huh. is, this is so random. Yeah. How does that work? Wow. Everyone's been wondering, how's the marriage with the wife? <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Sir, there's no need for that language. Okay, I kind of cut. Sir, calm down. What did you just say? Yo! Nobody talks to me like that on my show. What the f did you just say? Get over here, you piece of sh. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo. <laughs> what the fucking plants? Oh my gosh, bro. Kinda cooked though. What's up, Chris? Ah! Kinda cooked though. <laughs> you feel me? Oh, why did he use that photo though? Good shit, yep. <laughs> Good shit. Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross. 
and I'm here to paint. I do ask. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. Whoa! That's my needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll put a little tree here. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife uh, with a squirrel. Enough what the me. fuck? Let's read some fan mail sent in by you guys. Eviction notice. Uh, forget the fan mail. We'll be. <laughs> oh right back my gosh, this bro. Commercial break. Whoa. Whoa. I love that these are so random. Okay. that I just watched. Bro, fire, bro. Hold on, hold on. It's 11.30. I'm over here not like... This is, this is the Iron Box State Park, okay? All right, hold on. Got my legs crossed and all. This is lit. Damn, somebody didn't clean up their junk? Um, so the time doesn't move, right? Where's my binoculars? Should I not even like worry about that right now? So what are the rules? So lights out before 12. Okay, supply drop, system password, refuel. That's with this. I don't think I have to tonight though. No video games, so I can't play any because I'm not trying to get in trouble. Okay, um... How do I call anybody, though? Okay, hold on. What are they? Did y'all try to, like, delete something? A service report. No, God. Yeah. Yeah. You guy, haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? No, I'm I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower Eleven alive again. Alive? You you were you were watching? Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. I'm Connor. Fire Tower Twelve. Yeah. I'm just just looking for for a change. Uh, uh, uh. I'm a transfer from from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm I'm really tired. You got a fire going? No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Thanks. Please don't burn anything, bro. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? 
Bro, let me cook! Yeah. Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Yeah. Okay, now what where, where do I get wood? I'm surrounded by fucking shit, yep. Do I need an axe or anything? Hold on, can you tell me where? No firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Uh. She was one gritty woman. Uh. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Uh. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, this is not responding, bro. Uh. Oh my gosh, they say something, bro. Okay, storage shack. Gotcha. <clears throat> what, y'all? Y'all never seen anime? You know? Bro, do I have a gun? Ooh. I gotta take all of these, bro. You know, I can't like... Okay. They're really gonna make me take trips. This shit, young. What kind of anime you watching? <laughs> you said, but this is an anime. I hear you, but like, you know? Okay. Needs to beat it up. Hold on. Let me get my binoculars. Yup. Okay. Um, low key. Hold on. While I'm down here, because I'm not trying to come down here again. I guess I don't have to right now. You think I could create a fire in this game? Are there root tries? Or <clears throat> if I do something like that. But what is all this? I'm taking this with me. 19 knots? What is this, bro? What is this, y'all? gas was for the fire this is the thing let me give my binoculars wind speed okay how do I check the temperature um Let's see what the thermometer duh you should yep yeah. I don't, need, I don't need anything else from here, right? Yeah, we're solid. All right. I'm not. This is the thing. I'm not trying to come, right? I'm not trying to come back down here, bro. You know what I mean? Because, like, no, sir. No, sir. Close this door. Lock it up, bro. Get your gun. You'll be all right. Now, please don't, like, burn this, you know? There it is, yeah. Need more? Yeah. Uh. But I hope this doesn't burn anything, bro. Okay. Ugh. You feel me? Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Uh, nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Uh, Did you report for the night yet? Okay. Uh, um, 
my night report, but where, where do I get the uh, the thermometer? What time is it? Man, there is no time or space, huh? Still 11.30 for the past hour. It's all good, though. Okay, so what is it? 46.3. No, let me get to it, dick. Okay. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first Okay, time. bro. Okay, temperature. So, what was it? 46.6? 19. Uh, now, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What was it? 46.3. 46.3. I'm tripping. 46.3. And this is at... 19. Um, do we just say like cloudy but windy, right? Nothing too crazy. It's a chill night. It's a chill night. Wind, what we do, right? Wind. The thing is, it's not even that bad. Would y'all say wind or cloud? Clear? Really? It's definitely cloudy, bro. Oh, it's y'all tripping, bro. Number of hikers assisted. One. Reported by Mark. <clears throat> I know that one. Copy, new guy. Tower one copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. <sighs> Tower twelve, signing off. I you see. Have a good night, new guy. You too, bro. You know my name's Mark, but it's all good, bro. <sighs> It's not even a joke, though. Good night over and out. Okay. So, I did my uh, password. I did my reporting. Okay. Signed out. Lights out. All right. Yep. Go to sleep. Twenty-six AM. I'm I scared right now? Connor? Ugh. I had to pee. You better pee. You better you better get a, a, a fucking plastic bottle around here, bro. And pee, bro. Because I'm not going downstairs. You're, you're fucking tripping. I have a gun. First night, being out of my cabin gave me a strange feeling. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. He said, pee. Y'all want me to pee outside of the balcony? Like, bro, what do y'all think this is, bro? He said, I would? Wait. 
Are you dead ass? So you want me to just stick on my willy? All right, yep. Mountain on mountain side of me. No, 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 no. Yep, yep, yep. This dude needs to drink water. You see how yellow that shit is? I'm out of here. And you know he, you know that dude just seen you. I'm running and jumping right onto the bed, bro. Okay, got your little guy. Ah! It's just you and the wind and the sunny sky. Okay. Man, this is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, this is beautiful, bro. Man, look at that. Ugh. Take a picture. I would love, I uh, actually like, I'll take it back. I'd, I'd love to do this for like one day. Hey guys, you copy? <laughs> this is Connor from Tower 12. You copy? Coming. Hold on, give me a second. This dude does not wash his dishes? Like, what's going on? Tower 11, do you copy? Copy that, Connor. Uh, what's up? Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. Oh shit. Already a fire? Oh no. Yes. You spot that white smoke up north? Yeah, I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? On my hand. Oh, God. This is bullshit. Generator need anything? Oh, God. Where is it? So pissed, bro. You said put on your web, your web wings and glide over there. Okay. Ace trail, yep. 
Oh my god, don't tell me I have to uh, fight off a bear, bro. Please don't. 8.37 p.m. I followed the trail that leads to the smoke. Get, what the fuck? Oh, there's no signal where I'm at. Damn! Ah, I'm on my way home. See you in a bit. Sorry, I just got home. She sent me that. Oh. You will not believe how easy it is. Okay, did it reach you yet? Send pics. Okay, and I'll send the pics. Gotcha, my tower. Okay. I'm I'm over, I'm really over here being nosy. Hello? Who's there? Ugh. Show yourself! Ugh. The area beyond the site was closed. They have an EFG reader. Tower 11. So now what? My hands were full. Oh, I'm... He wants me to put out this fire. He's gonna piss them off. Good. I leave. I'm leaving. Fuck this, bro. my fucking heart 907 p.m. as I hike back to my tower through the dark I couldn't shake the sense that something went terribly wrong my mind couldn't help but think what might have happened So that person screaming was probably like a killer, bro. Probably body peed someone. Okay, hold on. Are you sure you don't need gas? Fuck. 
Fuck. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. No! I got bear spray! Tower 12, do you copy? Hey, Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? <sighs> Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening a lot? Yeah, there was a, a scream. A scream? Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. So kids went missing in the area? About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and... Yo! vanished. Whoops. No trace of them since. What just happened? What just happened? What just happened? Did she just die? What happened to the camera? Twenty. We don't. We've done twenty-four hours. Remember? There you go. What does this have to do with the? Wait. What happened to the kids? We don't know. Their parents. How long has the camera been on? Them off the trail. It's unbelievable. <sighs> People have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. No, it's a fucking guy. He's killing. Unsettling. Do I? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, no. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. Yeah. We're gonna contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Okay. What are we at right now? What time is it? Nine. Uh, let me actually... Hold on, hold on, Kayla. Where's my binoculars at? How was TwitchCon? What's up, Erie? It was... Ve just Vegas in general was fire. TwitchCon was dope. But yeah, that this weekend was, was so much fun. Okay, there isn't much I could see. If I turn these off, I could, you know... Oh, God. Did I... Oh, come on. They really don't give me a gun. Like.
Wait, I could make? Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh. My Oof. Okay, so uncooked pasta. The fuck? Marinara sauce. Um. Anchovies, it is. I had a feeling something was missing. Yeah. Oh, 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 we're cooking. Hold on. Pepperoni. Whoa. Move the. Tomatoes? Did I need tomatoes? Yep. Yeah. Get the. F hey, pepperonis. That what is this? Onion peas. Get that shit back. Baked beans. Mozzarella cheese. Oh my god, this looks so fucking good. Um, four twenty. New guy, you there? Dude, you scared the shit out of me. New guy, you copy? Dude, let me cook. What about the food, Joe? Connor? Just reported their ass to the authorities. W what did they say? That's relieving. We'll take a track of down and give them a piece of their mind. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was getting to it. You better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Go over 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, um... 48.2, and... eighteen. Forty-eight point two and 18. This is cloudy, right? Yeah. Pepperoni. 
Hackers assisted? No one? Zero? There was no hikers I assisted today. Let me see. 18. Oh yeah, I, I'm cooked. I put, what the fuck? I put, I put cloud. Mm. Oh, oh my gosh, bro. I was watering, bro. I like eating in bed. Your hands not burning. Tearing this up. Now it's already full. Sheesh. That's joining the microwave, Kazo. Or not. You don't believe in putting shit back or yep. Yep. Um But is she gonna go bad, Custer? I don't give a damn. I always close the board outside before heading oh god. Um, I need Give me that axe. Let's see what they're doing, bro. Shit. How do I close this? Something's about to happen. I would like to experience this for one day, you know? Just one day. 2.27 a.m. I was woken by a feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. What the f- WHOA! something very strange that night. It's my f
Fred, you take a motherfucking nap, bro. What the fuck? I didn't know what to make of it in the moment. Gosh, I'm fucking shaking in my boots, bro. Can I go to sleep? I had to talk to Connor. Hey, what am I talking about? Going to sleep, bro. Wake up! I need to talk to you, it's added! Hello! Do you have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. There's a fucking skull! What if this isn't a prank? These kids can be pretty creative with these pranks. They watch too many horror movies. Maybe they thought it would be funny. It feels like some real ritual. Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. All right, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? This bear, uh, I'm sleeping with this, you know? They really not gonna give me a gun? Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about the night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. 8.34 p.m. I occupied most of my days either with a simple maintenance or by scanning the densities of the trees around me. If you don't clean, if you don't clean, like... My paranoia for these woods only grew after that night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. I can't see. <laughs> oh, shit. Did y'all not just see that fuck wine? Also, I drink uh like red wine or um or uh I, I, I'm loving Chardonnay. I, I need help. Please, someone answer. Coming, coming, coming. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Uh yeah, yeah loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep breath. What's the situation? I... I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Um... What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and... and some of my camping equipment. Um... Can you describe your, your clothing? Okay. What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Um. 
Which direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Okay. I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Oh. He's gonna die, bro. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Yeah, let me get back to you. Fuck. How do I, how do I... Please let me save this dude. Okay, um... Where's Tower 11? Just wait, just wait. Okay, um. Okay, tower 12. Where's tower 11? But where the hell? I'm be honest, this dude is dead, bro. Hey, man, you know what they say? Um. Um, you need any money, bro. I just take him by the left to get yeah, back to the go. trailhead. I'm on the Yep. I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. Hey, sir. Good luck on your endeavors, bro. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. My hands are full. Where do you have your hand in your like holding your balls? Like what the fuck? PG. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check up on you. What were you up to, pal? I mean, I'm not watching Pornhub up here, bro. Like, I'm just, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm gonna pass out if I keep holding. I mean, I hear you, but like, you wanna, you wanna, you want to spend the night? No, 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 no. You know what I mean? Pause. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I 
I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on the campground f smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh, nasty business up there, pal. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods weren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. And absolutely, it's a busy job. <sighs> I've been here and you've been, been on a bit of the edge. Everything all right? This dude is mad sus. I'm, I'm gonna say this right now. Just, just get getting used to the new environment. Actually, should I make, why not? Uh, uh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? I, I didn't think about it. Uh. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Uh. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. not coming back down here, bro. I mean, outside. So what's in it? Not inch it. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, I should I should have went with him. I was too hungry. Get the wood so you don't have to get... Whole tray in there. Okay. Where's Connor at? Okay. This shit looks so fire, bro. <clears throat> Casserole? I don't think I've ever, uh, you know, I don't think I've ever had, like, you know? So it, actually, maybe, maybe. This would look good. You said, but we didn't ask. Man, fuck off. I was done with it. Uh Okay. Now I really try to burn the cop like Bro, I need to get there. Oh, they're blowing me right now, bro. They are blowing me. Today's a pretty clear. Today's pretty clear. 26. Oh, it's windy actually. 
Wait a minute. What time is it? 8.40. But we haven't, we haven't, uh, we haven't, we haven't, uh, heard from him, y'all. Like, at all. Yo, Meek Moop, thank you so much for the big gifted, bro. Meek Mook is crazy, though. <laughs> bro, these fucking scares are different. They're fucking different, bro. You just gave me a heart attack. I understand the loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's... What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the road tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy everyone's been talking about. You usually work this late? And every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. You must ensure that the right message reached the right place. What did you agree? Right. Um. Right. We were lying information about fire sightings. Ha Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention can stop them. What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing, a way for the land to purify itself. I should, I should head back to the tower. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> curiosity, curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Farewell, Jack. guy gave out the creepiest vibes. Weird ass, bro. <clears throat> it is a, this is a W game, bro. Okay, where my, <clears throat> I don't know exactly where they at. Huzzo. Be honest, I'm not waiting until nighttime to like to do this. You know what I mean? I'm doing this every. Did I ever do my? I already did my report. Where's Con? There's smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy, you there? You copy now. Uh, loud and clear. <sighs> Finally, I've been trying to reach you for a while now. What about when I try to? I ran into Salas downstairs. Ran into who? The guy main maintaining the nearby radio tower? What do you mean? That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems, and its repair cost was deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time 
soon, according to Mitch. And who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He he knew my name. Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. So what are you gonna do? Send someone over tomorrow, Dick? Like, bro. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Me too. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Over and out. I really don't have a gun. This shit is blowing me. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just the change of environment and I needed to get used to it. The strangeness I'd seen so far in these woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would soon change. Two nights later. You got it. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. Mitch wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Mm. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Thanks, I got it. here and that just smells bro you said you love the rain update installs a new uh, with package code Check the available. Okay, so check UPD. Um, update service, update windows, the security patch. What's package code? Four three four six zero eight four four three four. Six zero eight four four three four six zero eight. Oh, it's right there. Huh? Check mine. Oh, thanks. 
Um, what's my line? Active line. Oh, security patch version five four six eight. Okay, there it is. Okay. Package code. I really had to pee before going up. Bro, stop this bullshit, bro. You don't have to pee. No, 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 no. Why is it picking up though? Wait. Why is this picking up like this though? He's gonna he's, he's gonna fucking hear me. Bro, he, I'm, I'm gonna be dead. Hold on. Now I just shut it off completely. I'm I'm cooked. I am cooked. I gotta get this fixed before don't scream, you know? Test. Test, test, test. <laughs> think but not it's not going up nope 
I'm gonna just have to like deal with it. Run, run, run. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's gener generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. And there was no fires going. The only thing I'd do is check on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever would have talked. <clears throat> Unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. Oh, crap. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. You copy? Are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. Is this dude really giving me attitude? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Yo, Sailor Moon! Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Let me have a look. Thank you. Thank you, Sailor. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. This dude really has the balls, bro. Oh, they're right here. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, cool. I thought they were, I thought they were far. Hold on. What the f The only thing that made sense at the time was to take evidence of it. Bro. Connor. I was really, <laughs> I was really about to run over there. <gasps> you fucking had flash on! How did he see me? Please don't let that be the ending. I want to get the good ending.
have another one. I know it's the jet. Oh, this is game fire, bro. Jack, do you copy? Okay, yeah, I've been here bunking now. I need more smoke to my west. It appears to be. Oh, hide. Wow. I'm cooked. you go bro so run in the bathroom run in the bathroom holy shit bathroom 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 holy shit my heart bro Right? He said, huh? Like Metal Gear Solid? It's like, bro. We got another one. How's my starfish? Moist.
Ja. Though I didn't want to close, though I didn't want to close. He's selling me. I sold. I, I, at least uh, they didn't like, because they could, they could, they could have like ended it with like him dying. Actually, no, they couldn't have, because I'm the one telling the story. I feel like Connor, Connor knows, bro. You didn't think I was, I... What? You, you didn't think this is the sprint button, y'all? Just run slow. God, I would have been so scared running through these woods, bro. Who fixed my RV, bro? Cause y'all know how I parked it.
That's crazy. Somebody, bro. I know how I park my shit, bro. How do you escape? I, I it, it, no, they they like they like turned my car around so I could just exit. I get it, but like they low key hold me. Runs, bro. Fuck this. Okay, so so the, the RV is, is turned up, right? So I could just get in it and run and drive away. Gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed the alert the HQ and <clears throat> look, Jack, we all get a little stir crate. What the fuck? He said, look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here. They're trying to cover it up. And this is a real story, y'all. The next morning. Authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no sign of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for Hold on, how about the picture, bro? Show us the picture. Just stick to looking out for fires. 
However, that was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Where? Bro, show us that picture. I want to see the IRL picture, bro. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making up the whole thing, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a heaven for illegal activities. So, if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Where's the picture, Jack? Keep getting better and better, bro. Every time. They're doing one more. One last one, right? Wow. Hey, man. Shout out to them. Shout out to the team. Keep doing y'all job, bro. Keep doing. Keep killing it, y'all. Christian, appreciate you, bro. Damn, he said send the story. Low key, bro. Sheesh. I wonder what the next one's gonna be. 